We're going to guide you through the process of uh, downloading and installing both SQL and um, Myriad 5 Playout in this video. So we're going to start straight off by grabbing SQL 2016 from our website. If you already have SQL installed, for example, if you're running Myriad 4, then you shouldn't have to do this step. However, please be aware that Myriad 5 requires SQL 2012 as a minimum. OK, so I'm going to go straight to the broadcast radio um, dot com site slash support or if you just go to broadcastradio.com and click on the support link here that'll be fine uh, I'm going to scroll down and go to general information and um, scroll down and there's uh, drivers SQL installers and utilities and we want to click on the MS SQL tab here we can see uh, MS SQL 2016 for 64-bit PCs uh, there is only a 64-bit version of this so you, if you are running a 32-bit PC then you will have to use 2012 instead of 2016. If you do use 2012 I suggest you use the tutorial videos that are already on the P squared website which walk you through the installation of the older SQL setup. So I'm going to download um, both the um, SQL Express um, which should, I'm going to save that and um, I'm also going to download the SQL Management Studio as well. And save that one as well. So depending on your, um, these are quite big files um, in the region of a gigabyte. So depending on the um, uh, the speed of your internet connection, this may take some time. So uh, we're going to pause the video here and we'll come back in a few minutes once they're finished downloading. The uh, SQL Express uh, 2016 and Management Studio are finished downloading now, so we're going straight to running the installer. So they will have downloaded uh, to the Downloads folder, and there we can see the two things there. So I'm going to go ahead and run SQL Express uh, x64enu.exe, which is the installer for SQL Express. And some of the bits in this video may take a, a few seconds as it's gathering information stuff, so um, we'll probably fast forward through a few bits, uh, but basically uh, this this process should only take you a few minutes to go through. Okay, so uh, now we're on to the main installation section. So uh, we're going to walk our way through this and uh, teach you how to install SQL. This page allows you to choose which section of SQL you want to install, and we want to install, install a new SQL standalone installation or add features. So we click on this option here. It takes a couple of seconds to um, load up the, the, the uh, thing, so that's all fine. So the first thing we want to do is accept the license terms and then hit next. Um, it goes off and does that. Um, do we want it to check for updates? I'm going to leave that off, but you uh, can choose whether you want to or not. OK. So next we've got the install um, walls here. We can see it's um, all good. So we just hit uh, next again. So, yep. Uh, we want to make sure we've enabled database and agent services and server replication server. Um, so all those can remain ticked. And we can see it's going to uh, install various different pieces of software onto the C drive. That's all good. We can all leave that as it is for now. Uh, instant name, you can call it something different, but we recommend SQL Express. Uh, the reason being that uh, then Myriad will actually just pick that up automatically. Okay, this one is an important one. We need to enable the SQL Server Browser, so we want to change that to um, automatic. 
This allows us to actually configure it remotely. On this page, we need to uh, change a few of the options uh, to make it work. So the first thing we need to do is add in some extra administrators. So the uh, by default, the locally logged in user is an administrator, but we need to add in uh, a couple of extra user groups so that we can actually um, get at the server, uh, at the SQL, should we need to. And it's particularly important if you're running a networked version because obviously the local user uh, won't be the same on each computer. So we're going to click on the add and we're going to first of all add an administrators group. So just wait a second for it to um, bring up the window. Type in administrators. Click on check names. There we go, so that's the one we want to add. So we hit OK. And there you go, that's added in. And the second we want to add in is the users one. You probably wouldn't do this if your computers were um, publicly accessible, but in your radio station you should be fine with that. And the other thing we want to do is change the location where the SQL instance will actually be stored. Uh, the reason for this is I want it to be on my D drive, not my C drive. Uh, if you don't have a D drive, then you can have it on your C drive. It's no problem. The reason we recommend putting it on the D drive is because if you have to reinstall your C drive to reinstall Windows or something like that, the last thing you want to do is have all your SQL databases disappear. So normally we have a D drive where we keep data and on there's where we store all the audio and the SQL data. So there you go, that's now set to D colon slash Microsoft SQL server. Um, and that is us configured. So now we can hit next. And in fact, actually, um, that is all of the options done. So now all we have to do is sit back and wait for SQL to finish installing, which can take a few minutes. So we're just going to um, maybe speed up this bit of the video um, to see how we go. Okay, so that's the whole process complete. Uh, we sped up the last bit for the video. Obviously, you'd probably had time to go make a cup of coffee. Um, but that's it now. The SQL is uh, set up, and uh, technically that is everything we need for Myriad to work. However, you remember that we downloaded the Management Studio tool as well. Uh, we need that um, to uh, if we need to do any backups of the database or access the data within the database. So whilst you don't technically need it to run Myriad, it is something we'd recommend installing at all times and certainly something our tech support teams will have to do if they are going to look at your database at any point. So we can do that by, um, we can close the, uh, the SQL installer there. Now, if you hadn't downloaded the management tool, you can actually do that from uh, here. Uh, all that does, though, is goes off to the internet and, and downloads it. So instead, I'm going to go back to my downloads folder and run it directly from there. Okay, so this is a, a much simpler process than setting up SQL itself. Um, so we'll just quickly run through it, and then we'll be finished the SQL section of this video. You need to be an administrator to be able to install this as you do for most software. So uh, make sure you do have the administrator password handy or at least um, are logged in as a user with admin rights. Okay, uh, click on install.
Okay, so um, that is that's the SQL Management Studio installed, and um, it takes probably five to ten minutes to do. We've sped up that part of the video for you, um, but uh, obviously it's going to take a little longer to actually do in practice. And as you can see here, uh, once it's complete, it requires a restart. So what we'll do is uh, we'll uh, restart, and we will come back to the video in a few minutes once the computer is restarted. Okay, so we've restarted the computer now, and um, SQL is all successfully installed. So next we have to download Myriad 5 Playout. Uh, in order to do that, you need to head on over to the Broadcast Radio um, website, and the you need to go into the um, support section, and then Myriad 5 Playout support, and then Myriad 5 Playout downloads. So um, it's quite easy to navigate to. And uh, we can expand the Myriad 5 Playout, and I want to download the playout uh, option now there's also the Myriad upgrade utility um, but we're going to cover that in separate documentation so I'm just uh, downloading that right now and uh, there it gets done so uh, we can uh, open the folder get rid of the browser now uh, so there's Myriad 5 so let's just jump straight in and run the installer Okay, here next, accept the license, click installation, uh, you just need to agree to the installation. Close that window. You can see the icons just popped up there and it says uh, that's the installation complete so we want to launch Myriad Playout. So we're going to click on finish. Okay, so here we are, Mirad is now starting. So the first thing you see is the uh, licensing. Now um, there's a separate video on licensing, uh, but for now, because we are just uh, trying to get Mirad up and running, we're going to continue with evaluation, which will give us full access to Mirad, in this case, for the first four days. Okay, and then we have to set the locations for Myriad. So uh, Myriad 5 has a single file uh, folder location. It automatically detects the, um, a D drive if you have one. Um, and you can see here, it's also automatically um, set the uh, SQL string here. That's why we set the SQL to SQL Express when we installed it, so that Myriad would automatically pick it up. And D colon slash Myriad 5, uh, Myriad V5 is uh, the default folder location. That's all fine. That's where we want it to be. Um, whilst there are other application settings in here, um, we don't need any of them for now. So we can hit OK. And we are now hopefully going to see Myriad. Ask if we want to create the folder. We do. Give the station a name. It automatically creates the database given your station name and you select that database. Uh, because Myriad does access the internet, it also requires access via your firewall, so just hit yes for that. Uh, the first thing you see is a uh, is the version history, which uh, opens up in a browser, just tells you some information about what we've been doing with Myriad 5. There's quite a lot of stuff in here that's new, so uh, have, feel free to have a read. But the uh, crucial thing here is Myriad is now installed and running. So let's just um, run through a couple of quick settings we also want to do in here. The main one really is the media engine settings, so I want to go to settings. Media Engine Settings, this is where we set the sound card. Um, I'm on a remote desktop session at the moment, which is why it says remote audio in here, but normally you would choose either manually uh, and then you can choose an audio device in here or automatic if, if it will just um, detect your sound cards and put them in there. So if you're running a multi-channel sound card, here's where you would say how many players you want and what audio device to use for those players. But I'm just leaving them on the default for now because that's all cool. Um, 
what we can also do now is uh, I'm just going to drop a couple of audio files in here and see how we go. So I'm just going to go right click, import. It's going to browse to my desktop. Into the music folder. I just got to highlight all four of those tracks. Hit open. You can see the um, the import uh, on the right hand side here, the import bar, which is working its way through. Adding some uh, of our first songs to Myriad, and they should be done. So let's uh, see what happens if we drag one into a player. Excellent. Okay, so we've gone through the whole process of installing SQL, downloading Myriad, uh, licensing its evaluation, setting it up, and playing our first audio cart. Um, so there you go. I recommend you watch all the other videos about Myriad 5 to learn about the features and how you can get the most from it for your station. Have fun and we'll talk to you soon.